So this is my sponge princess art. Here's her business card. I love the drawing on the business card too. That's cool. And this is my little skull collection. I love the skull collection. All right, so this is, this is really cool. I don't know what I, I, I wish I could tell you what it's about the skulls that I think are neat, but I can't tell you. I just know that they are. Here's our rainbow skull. <laughs> now I love how she does these lines, the line drawing, the squiggly lines. I think those look cool. Look at that. And then this one is really neat. This is the most, the rainbow and this one right here came in today. These are my most frequent acquisitions. I just think it's really nifty. And of course, oh, love these guys. Look at these guys. My colored skull paw. Look at that. Uh-oh, let's do it this way and zoom in. There, look at those guys. Look at the colors. It's a pile of colored skulls. Again, I really love the skulls. I cannot tell you why. It's like these two are neat because this is the color colored ones. And then there's this pile of gold, black and gold ones, the way she did it, I guess. Gold first and maybe etched them in. I'm not really sure, but it looks nifty. Nonetheless, I do enjoy myself some scungy art. Look at that. I just really like the, the gold effect. Uh, and I don't know. I like the way the gold and the black go together. This one's just cool. Just, I don't know. What does it say about me how much I like the skulls? I have a nice little skull collection. And then this is, it looks to me like a kid drawing or playing. Kind of lonely. It's the first thing I think of anyway, because of this, it's like a pen here maybe and squiggly lines, just kind of sitting looking. In my mind, more like a kid would sit all limber and I'm so not limber anymore. I just thought it was really neat. And this is the Feast Beast. I love the Feast Beast. Look at the Feast Beast. See, this is me and my relationship with food in a drawing. This is the Feast Beast and me all lulled against the bosom of the Feast Beast. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of how I see my relationship with food. A little too much feast beast. But I think it's really neat. The, the lines, you know, let's see. Look at the lines. Look at that. I just love the way she squiggles. I'm not really sure what it is about the squiggles, but I like the squiggles. So my feast beast. These are all, these right here I'm showing you now are all from the first art auction. And some I bought online. And then this one is our, let's see. Well, hang on. It's gonna be backlit more than I want it to be. Yes, I know that's my countertop. But anyway, this is the sort of skeletal mermaid drawing. I don't know, did we, did we name it? Zen Ginger was really good at naming things. She may have come up with a good name. But this one's just really kind of, it's, it's neat, it's disturbing, and it's interesting. And it's a little bit different from her normal line drawings and just the way that, there are the squigglies. But yeah, it's very, interesting like I said a little bit disturbing too I guess in the skeletalness of the creature I don't know it makes me think of anorexia or something but I thought it was really cool and I got it and now I'll say my favorite for last oh, don't look at this this is extra food on the counter because you know hoarding a little bit of extra food and green beans just in case 
because you just groceries have been out of a lot of stuff but anyway i digress about the covid19 this is my favorite sarah the the face it's the face look at the face look at the eyes that reminds me of my great aunt t her name is thelma we called her aunt we called her t she had that kind of hawkish face and when she turned her eyes on you she was so smart she went to the emory institute when women just didn't go to school the emory language institute in atlanta georgia when women just didn't go to school she learned she knew french and spanish and latin in one year she said she taught all three of those plus english in the same year she said she didn't know what language she was speaking at the time but she and to keep her brain sharp till the end she would get our local paper the op news in a red pen and grade it it was never good she was funny and we would sit on the back porch and I'd go feed the birds and we would watch the birds and she had this bird book that I still have and we would try to identify the birds that came in her backyard. Some of my favorite things with Aunt T. But anyway, that's who this reminds me of just because of the face alone and I had to have it. Um, I honestly don't remember the name Sarah gave it. I'm sorry, Sarah. But to me, it's just, it's a portrait of, it's my Aunt T. I'm not sure what she would think about it, but that's who it reminded me of. And the face just looks at me. Look at, I just love it. I love them all, but this one is my absolute favorite. And I guess art speaks to you in ways that are surprising. But the, the eyes and the face got me. So yeah, Sarah, I do love your art. I also have some of her little stickers. I have a lot of them actually. Oh, Happy sticking. Um, these are neat. I like the metallic sheen to them. Come on, I got more than this. I just have to pull them out. And they don't really, ah, here we go. Now you can see the colors and here we go. more in here. I kind of got a sampler platter. I bought some and then here we go. I just think they look neat the way they, they don't, <laughs> they do not video well. And then Sarah sent me some more. I'm so excited. I haven't opened them yet, but they're really neat. These are from before that I'd gotten just a sample of some of them. And I've got more, which I haven't opened yet. And I don't know that I can open with one hand because I'm not that kind of, not that kind of person. Anyway, I'll point it toward the art and give it a shot. If not, just believe me, there's cool stickers in here. Okay, I give up. I may have to do just a sticker video and find a way to present them in a better way because they just blend into the countertop and believe me, they're cooler than that. But yeah, this is my Sarah art. Again, one more look. I just love that. And again, this one, I just, I find it more disturbing than anything, but also cool at the same time. Very interesting. Okay. And then my feast beast, like I said, it made me think of me and my relationship with food. It's very neat. And then this little guy, like I said, it made me think of a kid just drawing or playing. I don't know. It just did. I love all the little squiggly lines all around it. But yeah, it looked like a kid drawing or doing their homework or just kind of doodling. Anyway, it's neat. It's kind of a peaceful one for me. And then, of course, my skull collection. My rainbow skull. I don't know if we named this one or not. Again, Zen Ginger was really good with the names. And my gold skulls. <laughs> and my beautiful color skulls. Now, the picture is bigger. The way she drew it with the um, negative space around it. 
I find interesting the size she did into the canvas that she used. I find that very interesting. But I love my skulls. Closer look again at the skulls. It's just a pile of colorful skulls. Very neat. All right, guys. That's my Sarah art and my art presentation for the night. Hope you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow. And you can look up. Let's see, this is the website on here. Here we go. It's scungeprincess.bigcartel.com. She's also on, um, it's not, uh, it's not Twitter. Instagram, whoo, at Scunge Princess. Yes, for art information. And the front of her card is really neat. Oh, I got it the wrong way. <laughs> Very cool.